Governments, conservation NGOs, and donor agencies spend a large amount of money to protect threatened species, KBAs, and ecosystem processes. How do we know that we are investing in the right projects? We need to evaluate the success of our actions and measure progress towards meeting our goals through monitoring. We monitor at two scales. At the local scale, we look at how effective our actions are in protecting individual KBAs and populations of species. We refer to this as intervention monitoring because it allows us to examine the status of our conservation targets relative to specific investments. We use the results of monitoring at this scale to improve management of the site over time. These data also contribute to broader scale monitoring efforts and help to develop guidelines for future activities. Returning again to the frog example, we would monitor whether reforestation and organic farming techniques resulted in clean, clear water in the lake. We would also evaluate whether there was a corresponding increase in the frog population. At a broader scale, we want to measure trends in the status of biodiversity over time, irrespective of investment. Monitoring at a national, regional, and global scale is called status monitoring. It is referred to within CI as outcomes monitoring. Governments, NGOs, industries, and others can use these data in making decisions about future investment and planning. We use a number of standard, globally applicable indicators for status monitoring. First, we track whether globally threatened species are recovering or declining by monitoring their status on the IUCN Red List. We also look at how many KBAs gain formal protection over time and how many improve in protection status. In addition, we monitor the change in habitat cover within KBAs. For instance, we examine whether forest cover is increasing, decreasing, or staying the same over time. At the landscape scale, we currently measure habitat fragmentation, including the change in the size of forested areas in relation to cleared agricultural areas. The results of our monitoring efforts are used to refine the species, site, and landscape targets. Thus, the process is designed to be iterative as better information becomes available.